Hey, what's up you guys? Poe on Pikachu 20,000 here, and Happy New Year's! That's right, today is the first day of 2017. And now that 2016 is no longer here, I'd like to go back and relive what happened to this channel during that year. This was my first Pokemon plush video of 2016. Serbine's Sparkling Grape Juice. And I had thought that this video would have turned out better than it did, but it just didn't. But I tried, and that's pretty much all I can do. And for a while, there were no more plush videos coming because I was struggling with these videos. However, I was able to make another one. Oshawa's Nightmare was my second Pokemon plush video that I made in 2016. This was also my first ever scary Pokemon plush video. I had a whole lot of fun at making it. But it was also challenging because I was making it in my attic. And there's not a whole lot of room to move up there. Also, my attic is insulated. And it kind of acts like a desert. It absorbs heat and cool. So sometimes when I was up there, it would be hot. And sometimes when I'd be up there, it'd be extremely cold. I also made a behind the scenes of Oshawott's Nightmare to show you guys what all do I have to do to make a plush video. The Shrunk Tepic was my third Pokemon plush video of 2016. Now this video did not come out until way after Oshawott's Nightmare came out because I was struggling a whole lot with making Pokemon plush videos. I even made a video about the struggles that I had with making plush videos. And one was that I do all these videos by myself with no help whatsoever. Also, I was kind of tired of the way that I was making my plush videos and I wanted to do better. I wanted to make them look better with like special effects, but I can only edit them with basic effects. This video was also very fun to make. The Tepic that I used in this plush video was from a uh, Pokeball. It was like one of those uh, launch and throw Pokeballs. I remember I had had this plush and I hadn't used them in a very long time, so I thought, how could I use this? And I thought, okay, what if Tepic somehow shrunk? And so I did that. And it was really fun making it. Pikachu, Meowth, and the Mirror was my fourth and final Pokemon Plush video of 2016. And I'm sorry that I was only able to make four Pokemon Plush videos for 2016. But please try to understand that I was struggling a whole lot last year with making these videos. Making plush videos is fun, but it's not easy when you're all by yourself. When I make a plush video, there are many steps that I have to do. First, I have to figure out, okay, what's the video going to be about? Who is going to be in it? How long is it going to be? Where do I need to record? How is it going to begin and end? Then once I have everything recorded, I have to edit them all into one. And I also have to trim the videos. I have to add music and anything else that I think that would make it look good. A lot more did happen on this channel besides Pokemon plush videos. In 2016, I got a new professional tripod because I needed one because my last tripod broke. My old tripod, one of the legs had broke because I was trying to tighten the legs because it was loose. And a screw from the certain leg shot out of its socket and broke. And so for a while I had to save up in order to get this tripod and it is a really good tripod. And I don't think I'll ever have to buy another one. Also when I made this video I mentioned that it came in a variety of colors. This tripod cost me $150 and it was well worth it. Last year I updated my intro and my outro, 
They are still very similar to their old ones, but they are now better. On January 30th of last year was my four year anniversary on YouTube. And I celebrated by rewatching my first YouTube video. This was a video that I had to make. This video was going to tell the future of this channel. That one day I'm going to have to leave YouTube for good. I can't keep making these videos. I only do these videos for fun. This is just a hobby. This is not my job. I do not get paid to make videos. And when I had first made this channel, I didn't plan on doing this as my job. I just wanted to make videos for fun. But one day, all this will have to come to an end. Last year, two of my YouTube friends, Crazy Vaporeon 363 and Cool Pants Age 1230, now known as Gosuta and Shadost, asked me to make a shoutout video for their n new channel, Drowning in Plushies, and I was happy to. Last year, I made this video about my entire Pikachu collection. I made this video to make up for how I used to make a plush collection video every year. Everything in that video has Pikachu on it. Last year, I made this video about this spider that I found in my backyard that was camouflaged with one of the maple trees. At first, I didn't know that anything was, was there until I saw the spider move. The spider is just very well camouflaged, and I was just so amazed by it. Last year, I made a, a total of three banners before I made one that I was satisfied with. First was this one, with a start blue background, all of the Pokemon that I normally use in my plush videos. Uh, it has my name on it, Pokemon Pichu 20,000. And six Pokeballs of my choice, the Pokeball, Ultra Ball, Master Ball, Quick Ball, Luxury Ball, and Dusk Ball. The only changes I made were to the background. On one side, you have red. On the other side, you have black. And on the bottom, you have blue. Finally, I decided to change the background to this striped pattern of red, black, blue, and light green. Red is my favorite color, and the other three are colors that I also like. And I think this is the last banner that I'll have on this channel. Unless if I decide to think of something else. Okay everyone, that is my channel re review for 2016. Once again, I'm sorry that I didn't get to make as many plush videos as I did last year. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue them. Anyway, Happy New Year's everyone.